Welcome to Vegas Live with Ninon. Thank you for tuning in and enjoy the show. Welcome to Vegas Live with Ninon. And somebody just said, actually, this is the director of the camera and producing this. He just says the fun begins. So the fun really is going to begin because we have John T. Sheets. And I call him John Between the Sheets because I don't forget <laughs> his name. And he's now going to make me disappear. Are you going to... Uh, yeah, you, you do magic. He does all magic and make me disappear. I don't think that's going to work. <laughs> Is it going to work, John? Not at all. We Not wouldn't make all. you disappear. You want, you want maybe we'll, we'll maybe make around. two of me. We might cut you in half. Yes, exactly. <laughs> what, 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 what half is going to stay? <laughs> right. <laughs> the top half, I hope. So you do magic in a magical town. Yes, Vegas, I do. Vegas, yes, I do. Know, Las we're Vegas. Quirky Minds Media Studio, and of course we're in Vegas. And this is where it all happens. Right, the city of lights and entertainment. Lights, entertainment, and believe me, this is so true. They say it all stays in Vegas. It doesn't. It creeps out, doesn't right. it? It goes all over the it world, right? It goes all right? over the world. Because yes. Vegas has that reputation. That's, I mean, there's only one Vegas. There's only one entertainment city in the world. That's right, Vegas. right, true. So what brought you to the city of magic? Well, because it is the entertainment capital of the world. You okay. know, it's a natural... Uh, a thing that, that draws, yeah, it draws entertainers from all over the it world does. and uh, to have your name in the lights and to bring smiles to people and to entertain. And have you and done all that? All, I've done a lot of shows around Vegas, yes. How lots wonderful. And lots of I have, shows. Your, I have your names. I can just see John T. Sheets. Up there, there you go. Yes, I like it. Do you like yes, it? Yes, I love what it. We, we I love to, it. Is, is it not there yet? Not yes, there? yes. I've is done a couple been? marquees as well. Oh. Um, you know, yes. That must be, you know, I, I don't know. Cause I've, I, yeah, I've been on a marquee, but how exciting is that? I mean, it's got to be it's really... It's very exciting. It's it, very exciting. You know, it, you drive down the street a, and you see, like, that's me, that's me. Yes, it's a great feeling of accomplishment for sure. You know, you work your whole life to uh, be on stage in front of the yes. people and uh, to to work that hard and finally and is realize that really it. really when, when you're young? How old were you when you started? I was, you know, I started when I was just a little kid. I was like nine, nine or ten, nine years, or ten old. Yeah. years old. Yeah. You decided right. you want to do this magic stuff. Right. And were you good at it then? You know, I, I've come a long ways, but yeah. for a kid, yeah, I was pretty you decent. Were pretty, yeah. pretty decent that you thought that you could take this further afield and you thought that you could, I could really fool all of those people. <laughs> right. Because <laughs> yeah. that's what it is, isn't it? Yes. It's like slipping things up. Look, this would be a right. good thing to slip things up, wouldn't it? Look, look, slip, slip, slip cards up here. And <laughs> Gun, guns and knives and all right things. yeah for me it was always bringing uh entertainment to people and that magical wonderment yes and that feeling of awe and uh to have people forget about their problems in the world well, that's nice and i never think about that but that's yeah, cool yeah I like that. and just to be entertained and to bring smiles to faces to, to people's faces and let yes. them forget all that tragedy whatever's going on out there exactly and bring this to them and have you reached at the moment as far as you thought you would reach um, and when um, no, there's always another goal. There's as soon no as you goals. hit one goal, so there's your, another one. So what are your goals now? What well, my you? goals are to continue on, to keep performing, to keep being in the shows, yeah. to book more shows. Now, do you, uh, every year, every month, every day, do you try out a new trick? Do you try out different things? Because you can't obviously do the same thing all the time. Right. There's so. always tricks in uh, trial. And, trial and uh, error. Trial and it. error and in development. We're always honing and building and creating. And uh, we always say that it's not finished. We're oh, always oh, a work goodness. in progress. And for me, um, I'm a perfectionist. Are so you? Have you been to the Magic Castle School yet I in Los have, Angeles? Yes, I love the Magic Castle. <gasps> you used to Castle. go there all the time. You used to love yes. that place. Yeah, I love it too. The I secret door, there. wasn't it? The secret door you had yeah. to say. Heidi do or something. Yes, what the it was sliding to get in. Yeah, the, the, the sliding yes. <laughs> yourself in there. <laughs> right. So you qualify to get in there because not all yes. magicians can go in there. They say Correct. You have to be pretty high up to get there yes. in the first place. Yes. So if you want to be different, which obviously you do, and all I should, would imagine magicians want to be different, how, how do you create something new that nobody else has done? Do you create it yourself or how, how do you do that? Well, it starts with the principles of magic. You start with the 10 or 12 different principles of magic. Once you understand all of those, then you can combine and create and use your own imagination 
and uh, come up with new effects and it's, routines. Because you, yeah. you see something like, you know, with, on a lot of these shows, The Voice and different things, well not The Voice, but a lot of those different shows out there, and you see them coming and, and you know that they've actually trained and trained and trained themselves to do this. Right. Man. But then you look at it and you think, did this really happen? Is this really magic? Because obviously it's, it's not real. Right, yeah. So, and, and they've made it real. Yes, that's our job, is to yes. create to fool, that to illusion. To fool us. Yes. So to create, yes. You know, if, I like the way you put it better than I do. We're doing our job right. Yeah, you're doing your job right. <laughs> that's so you right. just said, so do you have a set of like 12 things that every person, everyone who wants to be in the magic business, are there a set of 12 things you have to know? Yes, yes. And Most magicians Magician will, will, you have to go through those 12 things. Correct. But, that's and, right. And perfect them. And, yes. And are those the 12 tricks that you will play at the very beginning, sort of. Yes, yes. There are the principles behind the principle. many of the magic effects out there. Because I never knew the that. Secrets. I, yeah, the I, secrets. Yeah, I used to have a, a guy in real estate, and, and on the side he would do magic tricks, and he had this big house in the Palisades, and he had this table as you walk into his hallway in his house, he'd have this table. The first thing he does with you is he does this magic trick, and I and I thought, I thought we were having a real estate deal, and there was all this magic going on. <laughs> right. But that was as a childhood. That's sure. what he liked and he enjoyed, and he continued it as yes. a sort of a sideline, I guess. He wasn't invaded. Yeah, magic it. is a great icebreaker, too, for meeting new people. Oh, that's clientele. why he did it. Exactly, yeah. It brings a smile to your face, didn't it? He owned a bank. <laughs> well, no, he owned a bank. Oh, it was a long story, but my husband was doing a big deal with him, but we magically we, we got out of the deal and he and actually happened to end up in jail but we had <laughs> <laughs> it's a funny story that that one. <laughs> it was a funny story but we were actually got paid our money and i don't know how that happened either but anyway but he ended up in jail but he had a bank or, or he did have a bank so where are you going now what are you trying to find a trick out there that's going to sort of you know be astronomical and everybody's going to say, hey, you've got to go and see John T. Sheets. Yes, I'm always working on new stuff and okay. with magicians we kind of keep those things kind of private and under the wraps until we debut it. Of course. However, um, yes, I, I'm creating for myself but I also create for some of the biggest names in the industry. Uh, David Blaine is one. Uh, really? I was a consultant for his ABC TV special, The Dive of Death. And um, so I do things like that. Um, so for other people as well as myself. As well, yes, as well yes. As, and then you also learn yourself of how big they are, and then you can get there too. Correct. You can have the same yes. thing. Now yes. I know. And they, they always have people behind the scenes. So oh, that's that's they so hire you're, other you're, magicians so and consultants and things like that. You're behind the scenes. Yes, I do that as well. So. And what do you do? You give them encouragement, or you give them? A um, we kind of create things for them. We're the creative side behind okay. the cameras. Yeah. So we create and. Uh, come up with the new things for them to present. Okay, so it could be small, yeah. it could be big, but it's yes. something new. Exactly. So they learn from you, and you're, exactly. actually, this is really yeah, quite it's a whole funny. team of people. Because you're learning from them, and they're learning from you. Right, so right. Like, it's a win-win so situation. It's one big magic trick. <laughs> it's all put together. Now, I know we've got some cards there. I do, I do. I, I, don't, think, I don't think they're there so. for me to look at. Right, right. Well, first, can I start off by showing you a, a trick with a bill? It's a five dollar bill. A five and, and a, a one. one. A five and a one. Now look, they're folded up, and they're folded for a reason. But first, I'm going to unfold each bill. I'm going to show oh, you the inside. It's a real inside. one. It's a real five. Look, check it out. I'm going to have you hold it. Thank you very much. There you, you go. Pay. I got five dollars <laughs> to have it on the show. <laughs> and, and here's a one. So oh, then look, I got a one dollar. So there's just... nothing in there, right? Nothing in there, oh, there's right? There's nothing anywhere. Just an absolutely ordinary one. And we're going to take the five and we're going to fold it up like this. So look, Back just to where they the were. one. Okay. Exactly, just the one. Now, just it's got no sleeves here. No, no sleeves, exactly. No, no, no Look, hiding. just the one and just the five. Do me a favor and hold out your hand for me. And Which turn, one? Turn your hand upside down. Perfect. Just like that. Five dollars and a one dollar bill. Here it is. Six dollars complete. Go ahead and take that and hold it. Just like that. Now don't move. We're going to do the magic. There's nothing in my hands here. I'm going to reach in and take out one bill. Let me take one. You keep one. Keep that one. Now look, there's the five right here. Nothing here. Nothing here. Watch the five. Ready? I'm watching We're going to see the magic happen. A little shake. And the five starts to change. See it changing? No. It's actually changing oh. into a one dollar bill. Oh. Wow. Look. Check that out. Now if now, I have the no one. There's no sleeves anywhere. Exactly. There's no nothing anywhere. Right? Uh, so uh, that means if I have the one, you must have the five. Wait a minute. He, look. He's going to touch around me and I'm going to be sitting here as a guy. <laughs> Oh, no, we're not doing that trick. <laughs> Are you sure? Check it out. What do you have? 
I have five dollars. She has the five dollar bill. So if I have the five, you took the five, you've got the one, I've got the five, and now I'm confused. Yes, exactly. Okay. Kind See cool, what huh? I mean about magic? You just, you <laughs> never know. You so never know. It's always a surprise. A, am I still a woman? <laughs> <laughs> right. You like that one, huh? <laughs> I like that one. I All like right. that one. Okay. All right. You ready for a card trick? I'm, I'm ready for anything you say, because if I say anything else, it's not going to do it anyway. <laughs> All right. Look, I, I have with me a deck of cards. Yes, you And do. we're not going to use the uh, two jokers. We'll just keep the jokers. The joker's wild. Right okay. There. They're exactly. wild. They're gone. Now, look, we're going to... Spread through the cards, oh, spades, hearts, diamonds, yeah, and clubs, all exactly. They're the all faces bad. are all different and the backs are all the same. Okay. Just like people. Oh, Jesus, right, don't you? <laughs> Watch the deck. And as I dribble Jump through between the, cards, the sheets, <laughs> I'm going to dribble the cards down. You just say stop. Ready? Say stop. Stop. Right there. Remember that card. I remember. The five of spades. Remember now, five of spades. We're gonna you remember the five card. of spades for me. Okay. There you go. Remember that card. We're going to lose it into the deck about okay. halfway down. All right. Right about there. Yes. Now look, if I cut, give the cut, the deck a couple cuts like so, Lots and you time. snap your fingers, your card jumps to the top. Uh-oh. Before I do that, now I have to do a different trick. You've got to do a different trick. Right? I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Oh. Watch the deck. See the okay. deck. I'm watching. You'll it. see the magic happen. Look, there it is. Oh! It was Where red. Where's that gun? It was red. Look, they were, they were red. They were all red. Right? And now they're blue. What? They're blue. Yeah, it's kind of crazy, huh? It's magic. I'm gonna but I did up, tell I'm you. I'm gonna now end up Spanish. <laughs> <laughs> I made you a promise, though. I yeah, said you that did. your you card, said my card would jump will be on to the top. The top. Yes. Exactly. So snap your fingers one more time. There it is. Your card, the five of spades. Was it the five of spades? That was yes. it, right? The five of spades. I know what you're thinking. I know what you're thinking. Your I'm card was red, right? Well, well, yeah, my card was well, red. Give it a little snap. It's red again. A little snap and a little spin. It's back. <gasps> there you go. <laughs> How does he do it? Better yet, why does he do it? <laughs> <laughs> why does he do it? <laughs> it's magic. It's magic. Pretty cool. Huh? I love it. Yeah. You know something, what you are. You are excellent at what you do, but you have the greatest personality. Thank and you. so And so many people do not have the personality, but John, you have the personality that, that kind of goes with it and everything else. Because you, you. you're really not... I mean, you haven't really fooled me, but you have. <laughs> I mean, I don't quite know what to say, but those were definitely rare. This was blue. There's nothing, nothing, and you don't have sleeves. That's right. No sleeves. <laughs> no extra decks. No, no rabbits. No balloon animals. <laughs> What's that rabbit running around there? There he goes. It's a rabbit running around talking about. Um, John, amazing. Um, so now we know what he does. Obviously, he does it very, very well. And I'm still a woman. I'm still sitting here. I'm still lean on. Hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> um, what have you got coming up where you're going to be performing? A lot of corporate company events, trade shows, and private events. So that's so where your, your forte is with yes, all these, all yes. that. Sort of yeah, so I'm a little bit everywhere. Yes, and also I'm do, all you, over do you do place. a lot of children's things and everything? I like? don't do children's uh, shows as much as I used to. When oh. I was growing up and through my 20s, I specialized in kids' shows. I did a learned, lot of that. Learned a lot, but did a lot. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And then I've, I've kind of uh, broke away from that and yeah. more into the adult entertainment. Uh, family kind of audiences. In Vegas. Well, family, hang on a second. family kind of audiences. <laughs> hang on. And, uh, I, you, I, yeah. I listen to every word that you say, so be careful. Corporate company events, Corporate trade company shows, events, things yeah, like yeah. that. Yeah. So yeah. you do a lot of high end stuff yes, and everything. So you're actually in the right place to do all that because we have so many conventions. Exactly. And are the conventions coming back again now? Yes, they are they slowly, are. yes. Slowly coming yes. back, but they're yes. all. And they're also they're having their conventions in the different hotels, not necessarily in the convention centers exactly. yet. Exactly. Yes. Yeah, that, that's all coming yes, back. Yes, Vegas is picking up. It's getting so, much more lively. Yeah, you look happy yes. and excited. Yes. How can anybody reach you to book you? You can reach me at johntsheets.com. That's my website, but I'm also on Facebook, John T. Sheets. He's just John T. Sheets. Just look there the name go. up, punch that name in there on Facebook, on Instagram, right. YouTube. Anyway, you just put that name in there. He will pop up. No magic, just he will be there. And then he will deliver the magic. Thank you, you, John. Absolutely Thank amazing. Um, we'll pleasure. be right back with our next guest, Vegas Live with Nina.